gonna let a couple people <clears throat> come in before we get started here. We're gonna take a look at the new HeroClix X-Men Rise and Fall. We're gonna do a, an unboxing here just of a brick. Um, I actually already took the thing off here, so we're not gonna worry about that. Um, but yeah, we are gonna get started in just a few moments. If you have not joined the um, case breaks, we have the case breaks up on the website, uh, glasscabinethobbies.com. Uh, none of them are full yet, so we can't get started until they get they get full. So, if you who want to jump in, you got to take advantage of it now. All right, all right, we can we can get started. How is everyone doing so far? Let's go, we're gonna go here. Okay, we uh, start off with a Dakin Super Rare here. Take a peek at that. Let's see what else we have. Since this is probably gonna be the only, like a official straight up unboxing we'll take a little bit of time on it since the case breaks will be more fast pace impulse it's just a common carmella we get to this is a rare Raza, this is a common. Focus. There it is. There's Taken. Shiar. How can I get a box? Are you looking to get a, uh, a brick or a case? Or actually you're looking to get into a case break? Uh, you can get all of that off of our website, glasscabinethobbies.com. Um, should be able... Also, up in a link above in a previous Facebook post, there are links to Case Breaks, which from there you can also get to our um, our website to order. Either, either one. Okay... Separate these a little bit. Let's get going. All right. Uh, that is a multiple man, skinless man. Cosair, Sebastian Shaw. And then this is our rare War Star. I think he might be. Let's see here, real quick. There's War Star. That's just a rare. Super rare. Marvel Girl is uh, common. Got a Sentinel. Then we have Tempo, which is a rare. Arc Light. And a super rare Mystique. We'll take a look real quick. Okay, let's 
see here. Sentinel. Take a look at Mystique's card. Wow, that's a lot of uh, 55, five clicks, 105. That's a lot of clicks for 105 points. That defense is super imper. Oh, yeah, that's actually a lot. Impervious super senses and willpower. Outwit protected. And trait with stealth and plus one defense for opposing. Uh, for each token on an adjacent opposing character. That's She's going to be really tough to hit. A chase hey let's go it is a duple <laughs> dupe dupe pull dupe pull whatever that's hard to say <laughs> look at that that's pretty cool let's take a look at the, the card i've not seen this one Got a Banshee, Skinless Man, Smasher, and Darwin. Okay. Let's see here. Run and shot. Opposing characters within range can't be placed. Wow, that's pretty good. Within range, and the range is six. Uh, psychic Penetrating, Power, Unequipped all opposing characters within range. What? That's that's pretty meta. Um, there's a stop click. Opposing characters within range can't deal penetrating damage. Whoa. Stop click and probability when this click is revealed for the first time. Uh, Dupe pull can't be healed for the rest of the game. Opposing characters within range can't you stop. What? That's this character is broken. Oh wow, that's a special power on each one of the. Oh, that's really cool. So it starts off with run and shot, and then the next one will go to psychic blast with unequipped uh, opposing characters, and then the next one is going to be a stop click with impervious, and you can't deal penetrating. Then the last click is a stop click with probability. Wow. That's nuts. It's a little bit harder to get all of those things. And it is 75 point. But we like that. Okay. Uh, looks like we just have a rare destiny here. Let's take a quick. Yep, destiny. Saber tube. Okay. So she's just straight up. Nothing fancy. 35 points. Stealth proper. She does have the rally token. It's a five whenever a character rolls an attack or breaks away, you may re Oh, wow, so that's pretty good. have been pretty nice we got a Shi'ar Soldier Marvel Girl Uncommon Magneto Brood 
and an apocalypse. I haven't seen this one yet. Let's see, uh, yeah, that's a, let's take a look at apocalypse. This is this is nice. Oh, that's pretty nice. Okay, let's take a look at the card. Okay, we have a rally. Remove Apocalypse Rally die to choose a friendly character that shares a keyword. The chosen character can use that as blades. Wow. Okay, wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Jason, friendly characters or characters with the X-Men or Horseman keyword can use Steel Energy. Okay. Uh, we have Invulnerability Mastermind and Leadership Outwit. Here's our dial. That's pretty solid. Definitely more economical apocalypse. Um, so that damage, so that'd be leadership and outwit on the shorter dial into invulnerability mastermind. But we have impervious. We want run and shot second blast, 125. That's pretty good. Okay, I think we might get all our hits. We have our Wolverine. We have a long shot we played against him. He's kind of annoying. We have a Blob, Cyclops, Toad. Let's take a look here real quick on this guy. Not bad. Mr. Sinister is our rare. We have Silver Samurai, Colossus, Warpath, another blob. Mr. Sinister would take keep with him. It's always fun to get more sculpts for him. Come on. Okay. During your force construction, you may choose a character starting a force that is less than or equal to point value, Mr. Sinister's point value to be Mr. Mr. Sinister's clone, this cl this clone gains all of Mr. Sinister's keywords. Interesting. Um, how many points do we have? Okay, so 40 or 85. I guess that could make... I, I guess you could do it for both point, point costs, depending on the game you're playing. Whenever opposing character uses question, which I believe is the um, team ability... After resolution, steal that character one penetrating damage. Yikes. And he does have that special damage, and that is leadership mastermind. Now, what? When Mr. Sinister uses leadership or mastermind, the clone is considered to be adjacent if it's in with four squares. Okay, so you can... That's pretty good. You can use your mastermind from afar or leadership to take tokens off. I like that. You play about 40 points. What do you get? You get outwit. And you do have a second blast. Yeah, 85 points seems a little high. I feel like you try to squeeze them out at 40 points and just try to get some. But the clone is not uh, going to be super powerful. Got a Blink. Uh, I played Blink a little bit. It carries your characters around. It's really good. She does have some pretty good start and attack powers too. It's a pretty good pack for uh, generics. Hellfire, Sentinel, Havoc. Let's 
just take this out real quick here because you can see she's she actually plays pretty well this carrying thing is really nice especially for x-men but like uh 18 energy shield deflection for 60 points running shot with 11 three damage and leadership she's really good she really was useful in the constructed or not uh sealed eye plater and I, I really liked her a lot okay down to the last one guys We have Sabretooth, we have an X-23, Darwin, Mystique. This Mystique's nasty, too, with the Rally one that you can give her, like, Super Senses and Malice. Let's take a look at this. Remember, if you are looking to get into the case breaks, we're hoping to start tomorrow. Um, just go to the website, glasscabinethobbies.com. And you can buy into as much as you want. You get a booster or up to three boosters per case break. We'll unbox them here and we will uh, send them out when we're done. Okay, let's take a look here real quick. She seemed pretty straightforward, honestly. There's not a lot of... Yeah. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video in the middle of your day. All right, see ya.